I would ask you a question. How long did it take you to find that information? It's not easy, is it? No. We've been working for months. <laughs> Yes, they have been working hard here. A CBS 13 investigation revealing we may have more information about policies and programs in California prisons than the lawmakers with oversight of the Department of Corrections. As CBS 13's Julie Watts explains, lawmakers are now working with us to get answers. Yeah, are California's landmark prison reform laws leading to more rehabilitation in prison and fewer felons reoffending after release? Well, as we showed you last night, we don't know because the state won't provide crucial current data. So we're turning to lawmakers and the state watchdog for help. Should it take six years to get data on policies that are impacting public safety? When it comes to accountability, any department in the state of California should be able to give you data immediately. But Assembly Public Safety Chair Reggie Jones-Sawyer knows that's not the way California agencies work. PTHCR united the Democrats and Repub Republicans in their outrage. The man who's chaired public safety committees for the better part of a decade, helping to shape CDCR's budget, says lawmakers are struggling to get answers from the agency too. In fact, he wasn't even aware CDCR released its latest recidivism report following months of requests from CBS Sacramento. The Department of Corrections is refusing to provide answers about our requests for the report, which analyzes how many felons reoffend after release, were prompted by a series of high-profile crimes. A grizzly Sacramento County murder. Darnell Irby is accused of murdering and dismembering an elderly woman in her Sacramento home. Smiley Martin is one of the prime suspects in the Sacramento mass shooting. They're just two examples of recently released inmates accused of committing violent crimes after serving less than half their previous prison sentences. Now, after years of delay and repeated records requests, CDCR finally released its 2018 recidivism report, which failed to include crucial information about why so few inmates participated in rehabilitation and why their programs didn't appear to have an impact on recidivism. Following a scathing state audit, the agency has now hired an outside group to review the taxpayer-funded rehabilitation programs, but even the data CDCR gave them stops at 2019, and it'll be even more dated by the time the report is complete. Is there something that you can do now to get real-time data? I mean, can you go to the governor and say, sir, please require that they do this? Well, there's, there's some things we're, we're talking about doing. The governor oversees the Department of Corrections, which is on its third governor-appointed secretary in three years. We've been requesting an interview with the current secretary for months and the secretary before him. And we've now asked the governor's office to step in. I mean, what about an audit? What about a, a state audit request? I don't want to show my hand, but that's probably a very, very good idea. Can I give you some questions to include in that audit, sir? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> the state auditor is an independent government watchdog who lawmakers can commission to get answers about state agencies when the agencies won't provide answers on their own. Answers like how long is the current wait list to get into prison rehabilitation programs and what percentage of early release credits are actually earned. I need that data. The rest of the legislature needs that data. Because for now, we simply don't know if people like Smiley Martin or the man accused of killing a Selma police officer, sexually assaulting and killing, or the man accused of killing Kate Tibbetts and her dogs or the more than 15,000 others released with credits last year alone received any rehabilitation at all. Now we're putting together a list of questions based on our reporting and our denied records requests so far, which we will be posting at cbssacramento.com. And we'd love to hear what questions you have for CDCR. All right, I can't wait for the follow-up to that. Julie, thank you.